morning from a sunny, sunny, very humid Turkey. We're on our holidays! <laughs> we got here super late last night. I think it was like half past 12. Um, journey wasn't that great. We got, we sat on the runway for about an hour, um, then, then flew and we hadn't had anything to eat since breakfast and then they didn't, didn't accept car on the plane so we had a four hour, four and a half hour plane journey without any food or drink. So it was a bit, um, a bit uncomfortable but we got here in the end and the hotel is gorgeous. Um, we stayed in the Titanic Black, um Golf Luxury Resort. Um, so we're basically in a resort with tons of restaurants and bars in here already so we don't really have to leave the hotel so we can pretty much just chill here and never leave. Sorry, I thought you'd all steamed up. So, day one, we've got up, we've went to the gym, we went for our breakfast, um, and now we're just gonna chill by the pool. So we're gonna have a little wander around and check out where the beach is, check out where the pool and bar is, <laughs> of course. Dan's just getting ready. Um, so it's like 38 degrees today, so I think it's gonna be a slick back bun trip. My hair is not gonna survive in this heat. If I blow dry it, I will literally go like Monaco from friends and I'm already sweating standing out here. So, let's get inside to the air conditioning and get on with the day. Outfit of the day, all sheen, sheen bikini, sheen chiffon flare trousers and my little ASOS hat. <laughs> has just promised me agreed he's behind the camera like regretting no 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 no, no 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 100% agree with he's um, promised me that if the house sells over x amount he's put in x, x amount, amount. <laughs> towards a chanel handbag <laughs> and not a chanel handbag from the wicky wicky men in turkey a real chanel handbag because rachel doesn't believe in my math. No, I do believe in Darren. Darren just thinks he's a real estate broker, but he's not. But he thinks... The negotiator's crap. Darren just is going to negotiate, and if and if he gets the house over a certain certain mark, you heard it here first, ladies. Chanel handbag is coming our way. <laughs> you can't try to raise him to a Birkin bag. He's not having any of it. Marrying the wrong man. <laughs> Darren's diaries are back, people. Say hello to your fans. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Not used to this camera exposure, but we'll, we'll go with it. It's we'll... been a few weeks, but yeah. how are you finding your holiday so far? Do you know what? I'm really surprised with Turkey. Turkey's like, we went through the whole neon light crap hole, like the Santa shit on the way. You can't swear on YouTube. Santy stuff on the way, <laughs> you know, neon lights, everything like, a bit fancy, like, a, bit too, a bit too much for me. Um, came into this hotel, this hotel has been very, very nice. I can't, I can't complain this enough. This little man right behind you, to your right, uh, has been feeding us rosé and gin for the past, what, hour and a half? What are you looking forward to? I'm just looking forward to seeing um, what Turkey's all about, you know? Like, I might, I might go to the golf course for one day, but we'll see what happens. But I'm not playing golf, I'm going to only go to the driving range. It is golden hour, people. Look at that sun. It is hot, 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 and I'm quickly jumping on while my hair is freshly blow dried because I know in a few minutes it's probably going to go with the humidity. But I feel like I've not really did a rundown of what has been going on, what the hotel is like. So. It's super luxurious. This hotel is so, so, so lovely. There's legit people that come round and clean your sunglasses while you're sitting at your sunbed. There's people that, that kind of go around the resort on rollerblades and take your drinks order and, you know, roll around. It's, it's insane. It's so, so, so lovely. I would do a room tour, but our room 
for me, doesn't really feel like it's five star worthy. Even though this is a five star luxury resort, the room is not to par with the rest of the resort. Um, so I probably won't bother doing a room tour. It's literally just a basic room with a balcony. Very, very, very spacious. Our bed is literally like two kings put together. So I don't even feel that in, in the middle of the night. So anywho, last night, Darren was so drunk, we didn't even make it to dinner. I think he went to sleep about 4.30 in the afternoon and didn't wake up until 8am today. He was asleep for so long, so I literally went to dinner on my own last night. Just sat in a bar and had like a couple drinks on my own. <laughs> it was brutal. So tonight he is up and he's ready and we're going to go for our first dinner. So basically in this resort there's lots of different a la carte restaurants that you can book and reserve and go to and they're like an extra on top of your all inclusive. So we're going to an Asian restaurant tonight which is like on the river. So I have my thermosel, my handheld thermosel um, because I am getting bitten a little bit um, just because we're near the river and like I don't know if you can hear but there's like tons of little insects kicking around. Um, so I've got a couple of big bites on my back so I'm going to take my thermosel out with me tonight and literally just plonk it on the middle of the table and hope for the best but yeah Asian tonight so there's some sushi noodles and all that sort of stuff and then there's a show on at 9.45 which we'll go and look at there's a couple of clubs where we'll maybe go for a little dance and just see where the night takes us oh, How cool is this? This is like Flintstones, isn't it? <laughs> so, we're at the beach and we're actually on like a lovely little pier. pier. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we don't have to sit on the beach and get all sandy, which is lovely. And we were just saying that this is kind of like, feels like you're not in the resort, but you still are because you get the little train further out so it feels like we've came out on a day trip but we're still in our all-inclusive resort so we've just had lunch at a nice little beach restaurant and we've got our drinks from the bar behind me and it's still all-inclusive so yeah it's super super lovely um, it's sitting in the shade because it's way too hot and quite frankly I can't really be bothered with a tan anymore these days I also forgot to mention that I have been using the Bali Body SPF BB cream I think it was and it's great. I don't know if you can see but it kind of just very subtly colour corrects your skin, gives you a little bit of coverage and SPF like that is the only thing that I've used on my face and I'm not burnt at all. So yeah highly recommend but as for the Bali Body coconut oil I do not recommend. The lid is so flimsy it literally burst in my bag yesterday and I don't even have really much of it left anymore. So that was a waste of money and time. <laughs> so I'm just using Darren's SPF now, which is a shame. But yeah, we're just gonna stock up on our drinks and have another lovely day in the sun. So we're home, I'm gonna get ready for dinner. There was a couple things I actually forgot to mention that were that kind of slipped my mind. One because one of them I was asleep when this happened. So last night we were in bed sleeping and all I hear is Dan saying there's someone in the room, there's someone in the room and I was like what are you talking about and I sleep with earplugs in so I couldn't hear anything. Turn around I see the light shining from like the main hall so the front door is open so I jump out of bed and I'm like what's going on, what's going on? Some man had like a worker had came into our room because someone nearby had requested new bed sheets so he's like 
new bed sheets, I have new bed sheets. And I'm like, get out, get out. <laughs> Total disorientated about where I am, what is going on, who this person is. And it wasn't until he left, I was like, I was really rude to him and I felt really bad. <laughs> but looking back, I was like, that was scary. Like, we were in bed sleeping and this man is just walking into our room. So I think tonight I'm definitely going to put like the double lock on the door. And then secondly, so in this restaurant, it's obviously all, in this, in this hotel, it's all inclusive, but there's like speciality restaurants that you can go to and pay extra for. So that's where we went last night. Um, and it was lovely, food was super, super delicious. Um, and we just thought we'll just get up and leave. Um, because they have a room number, we had to sign and everything when we went in. Um, but no, you had to actually still ask for the bill and sign again. Um, so we just got up and left. We're walking like down like this little path thing and this poor waiter is like running after us like, excuse me, excuse me, you need to sign and pay the bill. I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. But it's not very clear. It's not clear at all. Like once you're finished, you just get up and go. They ha and they have your, your room number and all that jazz, so... We will not like that mistake tonight. So tonight we're going to go to a steak restaurant. Um, that's another speciality restaurant that they have here. I'm going to try that out. Again, it's on the river. Last night I had my thermosel literally around me all the time to stop the midges. Because there's a lot of mosquitoes kicking around, especially because we're on the river. So yeah, I'm going to go there tonight. And they have entertainment on every single night here, which is like really good quality entertainment. Last night it was like a Gatsby show. But we were late so we didn't get a seat in the actual like theatre area and um, so we just sat from the outskirts and we just can kind of see little glimpses of the dancing and the singing but it looked really really good and really quite high end for being like a resort show so tonight there's a show on which we'll make because dinner's earlier tonight um so yeah excited to see what that's like as well and there's a couple of nightclubs as well which we're probably going to try out tonight and tomorrow we're going to get up early and go back to the beach and try out that gym that I showed a clip of like the outside gym that's like kind of like the Flintstones theme so yeah we're going to get up and early and go there because it's so hot like we have literally been living in the shade like I don't even know how I have tan lines because I've like hardly been in the sun um, so yeah we're going to get up early before it's too hot and try and do a little workout outside and yeah have another just chilled out day just drinking rolly all day and enjoying ourselves. Another golden hour, although tonight as I think is about 10 degrees warmer than last night. I'm actually going to stand in the shade because it's absolutely boiling. I actually have a whole layer of sweat already over my entire body from standing out here for about 10 minutes. <laughs> it must be about 35 degrees right now and it's time to go for dinner. So I reckon we're probably going to have to sit inside rather than outside. But anywho, the all natural hair is out in full force. This is what happens to me when I'm in the humidity. There's nothing that can tame this. I don't really know how to style it. I don't know how to like do anything to it. So we just kind of go with the flow and the longer the night goes on, the bigger and bigger it gets. It is literally a real life Monica from Friends situation going on. Darren loves it. I'm not so keen. It's actually wet on the inside because it's so hot and sweaty right now. I do have my little dress from Primark on, which is very floaty and airy and lovely, um, and mum's white sandals, so very cool Malfi Coast vibes for dinner tonight. Hi! Excuse the hair that's probably like stuck to my face and chest because it's so hot, but we're sitting here with my phone myself, my little microphone, and we're in the, the steak restaurant, so as I mentioned, one of the speciality restaurants. And it's quite strange here because you don't get to pick anything, they just kind of come out with a whole range of stuff. So they've just came out with like the salad and like, what is this onion? So this fried is like onion. a peeled back whole onion, doesn't it? Yeah, fried, yeah. And then like sushi and bone marrow and then they come out and take an actual steak order. So it's quite funny the way they work. Like last night we just kind of had all of our Asian food come out at once and we were like, What's going on here? But you order your mains. Yeah, but you order your main. But it's all kind of a bit like you don't really know what's going on. We have our very own salt bay. <laughs> Look at this no, spread. You no, you <laughs> I'm not doing it. I hate salt. <laughs> oh, yes. We've got our veggies. 
I'm going to try some fillet steak. Don't know if I like it. What have you got again? This is ribeye. Ribeye. French fries. Potato gratin. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. Sir? Uh, two. 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 Wow. Oh, Salt oh, Bay! <laughs> I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me from all the water slime noises but today we are coming to the kids bit because dad and sister is going to join us with her wee boy and yeah we're just going to have a little family day so the kids area and water park in this hotel is so amazing unfortunately they're like refurbishing and adding new elements to like the big slides which would be behind me but they've kind of all been deconstructed and getting rebuilt um, which is a little bit unfortunate but there's still like some amazing slides that we'll still be able to go on um, amazing stuff for kids so we're just going to have such a super fun day Carvella shoes and the Monica hair. <laughs> <laughs> so today is sadly our last day and we've come to the beach. The only cool place in this whole entire resort is on the very end of the pier where there's a breeze. Otherwise you're just getting third degree burns wherever you place your feet. Even the wind here is like a heating device. <laughs> So we've had our day at the beach and I have conquered a massive fear. Dad is eyeing up something. What's he doing? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I have swam in the sea and actually enjoyed it for first time in forever like I cannot remember the last time I actually swam in the sea and felt comfortable like it is a massive fear of mine um, but today I've done it so I actually feel very proud of myself and celebrated with my 17th Majesty. <laughs> Again? Apparently, has no idea. But they've got like big 
if you see the camera jerking up and down, it is because Darren is sitting behind the camera like a thing away. Um, yeah, so tonight the show... <laughs> <laughs> the show it was is, spicy soup. It's it spicy was soup. Spicy soup. Yeah, the show is like a, I think it's like a Turkish themed show, and they basically turned like. Uh, you can edit it. 